वेलकम बैक टू सॉलिड वर्स ट्यूटोरियल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिजाइन ए सिंपल बेल्ट में टूल इन सॉलिड वर्स सो इट इज गुड एग्जांपल फॉर द बिगनर्स हु वांट टू स्टडी द बेल्ट में टूल सो लेट्स सी हाउ टू क्रिएट इन सॉलिड वर्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गो टू द फाइल नाउ सेलेक्ट न्यू देन सेलेक्ट पार्ट देन ओके एंड चेंज द बैकग्राउंड टू प्लेन वाइट सो सिंपली सेलेक्ट इट प्लेन वाइट and uh, make the sketch on top top plane so simply and i think the sketch will also be in 3d sketch so simply select the sketch and uh, select it 3d sketch and now select the top plane and uh, select normal and uh, make the center rectangle from this point so select center rectangle and uh, select up to this and now go to the exit the sketch and go to the smart dimension and this line will be 12 1200 mm so select 1200 then okay and uh, this this line will be 400 mm so simply select this and uh, make it 400 mm then okay and uh, again from all the points make the line up to 450 mm from all the points so simply select the line and uh, make this point and uh, ensure that it is vertical so select this and uh, make the line from all the points so select the line and uh, from this point make to this and now from this point so simply select the line and uh, make it this up to this and uh, again make select the line and make this line up to this and uh, go to the a smart dimension and uh, make it 450 mm then okay and if you want to uh, apply the same the dimension to all the line so simply select this line with press shift key and now select all the lines separately and uh, make it equal so go to and uh, the condition will be equal and it will be 450 mm all the line and uh, again go to the line and from this line to connect to this line and the dimension will be 100 mm from this point to this point then select 100 mm then okay and again select the line and uh, make the line this line to up to this line and uh, select the go to the smart dimension and the point distance will be 100 mm and ensure that it is line is horizontal so simply untick the smart dimension and uh, click on this line and the direction will be z along the z direction and again select this line and uh, select the direction to z direction then okay and uh, from this select the line and from the mid mid point make the line to up to this mid point and now select this and make it delete the relation will be deleted and now again select the line and uh, from the mid point to this midpoint then okay and now we create all the sketch of this beldment design so again exit this sketch so click on exit now we apply the structural member on this sketch so go to the features and uh, select the beldment tool and select structure member member and now the type will be square tube and standard iso and uh, select the size to 30 into 30 into 
then ok and uh, select this line and uh, select this line now select this line and the last one this line selected then again go, go to the new group and uh, select this line now select this line select all the lines separately then ok and now again select the new group then select this line and uh, this line then now select new group and the last one this line selected then ok now we apply all the structural member on this sketch now again from this line make the go to the structural member and the size will be 20 into 20 into 2 and select this line then ok and if you want to remove the sketch on this so simply go to the view and select hide and so and simply select untick the sketches it will be removed now again some portion will be this and uh, make the make the gusset on this face if you want to apply the gusset on this face so simply select the gusset and uh, it asks supporting faces so simply select this face uh, and select this face it will be automatically selected both faces and the diameter d1 distance will be 80 mm and the distance 2 will also be 80 mm and uh, if you want to apply the thickness to this gusset so i use 10 mm from mid mid plane mid side then okay Th then apply now we apply the gusset to this structure design and uh, if you again apply the gusset so simply select the gusset and uh, it asks supporting faces so simply select this face and this face it will be selected then okay now again apply to this corner so simply select gusset mm, select this face and now select this face then ok and the last one remaining so make it also so simply select gusset and select this face and select this face then ok and if you want to make the hole on this gusset so simply select this face right click sketch then normal and uh, make the circle of 50 15 mm so simply select the circle and uh, make it suppose i make it 20 mm so select 20 mm then ok and uh, go to the smart dimension from this point and this line will be 25 mm then ok and now from this point to this line the distance will also be 25 mm then ok and if you want to make the all make the sketch on all the gusset so simply use the mirror feature it takes less time to create the drawing so simply select make the center line horizontal and vertical so it is useful to create the mirror sketch so simply select this and make it this and uh, go to the mirror entity and select this sketch and uh, mirror about this center line and now again make the mirror to both sketch so select this select go to again go to the mirror entity and select this sketch and now also select this sketch and uh, mirror about this line then ok and uh, make it a cut so 
go to the features and select the stud cut and uh, cut up to next so select up to next then ok now it will be cut on this face then ok now we design the simple simple weldment tool command in solidworks so it is good example for the beginners who want to study the weldment tool in solidworks now if you want to apply the material on this so simply select the appearance and uh, select select the metal and now select chrome i prefer chrome plate it is good looking so simply select the chrome plate and drag up to this now it will be selected i hope you like it so thanks for watching